Hello, good morning, everyone. I welcome you to today's edition of our Thursday Facebook Live series. My name is Rosalind Ogene Brume, and I'm your host for today. Our discussion for today will be on policing and credible 2019 elections. An election is a formal group decision-making process by which a population chooses an individual to hold a public office. In Nigeria, in two days from today, that is on Saturday, the 16th of February, 2019, Nigerians will decide who they want to be their leader and their president. For us in Lawyers Alert, we cannot overemphasize the need for credible elections. Credible elections are characterized by inclusiveness, transparency, accountability, and competitiveness. A credible electoral process requires an open pre-election environment in which citizens can participate freely without fear or obstruction. Candidates and electoral stakeholders can operate freely and electoral authorities can operate impartially. Policing in the 2019 elections. The provision of security during elections has always been primarily the responsibility of the Nigeria police force. It would be a fair estimate to say that since the inception of democracy in 1999 till date, the police constitutes well over 80% of the total security personnel or agents that secure both national and state elections. In all the electoral circles, Depending on the preparedness of the officers to be deployed for election duties, Nigerians will either applaud or criticize the Nigeria police force. For example, in the 2007 general elections that ushered in the government of late President Muhammad Musa Yaradwa in Nigeria was widely adjudged to be unfair and flawed with irregularities. Same with that of 2019. But the 2015 general elections was, took a new dimension and the police were applauded because election for 2015 was seen to be free and fair. As you all know, election is a dynamic process in Nigeria and in the world at large. For us in Nigeria, laws are changing every day, mechanisms are changing daily. It was formerly a manual process, but as of today and currently, for the 2019 general elections, we'll be using a card reader mechanism. For the police, it is a challenge policing within the electoral laws. Continuous sensitization is equally critical towards enhanced provision of security in not only securing lives, properties, and votes, but providing security within the ambit of the law and human rights which is in line with international standards. It was in this light that lawyers alert, towards the end of January and first week of February, we went around the 12 zonal commands of the Nigerian police force. We were in Lagos, we were in Abuja, we were in Sokoto, we were in Oshobo, we were in Benin, Umwaya, Makodi, Lokoja, Kanu, Bauchi, Kalaba, and Yola. We were having conversations with the police towards an unbiased and a credible election. The efforts of the Inspector General of Police aimed at strengthening the capacity of its institution towards election policing to meet international standards cannot be overlooked. Citizens' engagement. Citizens' engagement in the forthcoming election is key and critical. We therefore enjoin Nigerians to cooperate with the Nigeria police force who have been sensitized and are more than willing to work with its citizens. We urge Nigerians to provide them with inform any information whatsoever as it pertains to the elections. Should you see anything that needs security attention, please reach out to the Nigeria police force. The police service commission would also be monitoring police conduct on election day. And as it were, there will be hotlines provided for citizens 
to reach the Nigerian police force if the need arises. It will be safe to say that elections conducted with integrity not only promotes democratic values and human rights, but also helps to improve governance in any country. Democracy is important for all of us in Nigeria. So also the 2019 election is very critical to the life of our nation. Let us lend our votes by voting. Let us avoid being Facebook Twitter, and all that social media critics. If I must say, criticism and not voting changes nothing but impairs our democracy. We enjoin youth to avoid violence and promote free and fair elections. We urge Nigerians to promote peace and order at all polling units. This is also to remind us that electoral offenses are criminal offenses and they have penalties. Try not to be found wanting. Do what is needed of you to do. Make sure you are at your registered polling unit. Do not go to any unit wherein you were, were not registered so as to avoid the penalties that is associated with electoral offenses. We want to also urge everyone to work with the Nigerian police force. Make their work easy in the provision of security for lives and properties. They can function well and they can function within the ambit of the law and human rights if we as citizens contribute our quota and assist them towards the provision of security. I wish everyone a violent free election. I also want to urge us not to sell our votes. When you do not vote, you are letting other people make some really critical and key decisions about your life, about where you are going to live, about the place you be, about everything generally as it pertains to the economy, how things work out for you, and how you will, also, you will not just be doing that, but you will also be compromising our democracy. Remember our pledge. We pledge to Nigeria, our country, to be faithful, to be loyal, and to be honest, to serve Nigeria with all our strength and to defend our unity. Remember that the labor of our heroes passed. We don't want it to be in vain. We'll be back next week to discuss the happenings of our Saturday's election. Please send in your comments and questions so we can discuss and engage meaningfully. Do enjoy the rest of the day. And once again, I wish you all a peaceful and a violence-free election. Thank you. Let's see.